Hey ST and I'm Tyler Carl alongside Mechanic Camp. Thanks for joining us today as we rock this town on the Tennessee edition of The Scratch. You know, I never really realized how beautiful this place was till we got here, having that southern charm that it does. Speaking of southern charm, these boys have real me in. I've already got a few numbers. Why don't you step my game up, because I definitely have pickup lines for it. Really? Let me hear one. Okay, so, if you're a guitar, I'd pick you first. Get it? Guitar pick? I mean, that's good, but let's leave the pickup lines to Aislinn. Yeah, Tyler, I think you should leave the pickup lines to me. That was pretty rough. Anyway, here's my bulletproof pickup lines that I'm going to use to rock Music City's world. Are you a guitar player? Because you just plucked my heartstrings. No. <laughs> I bet we'd get into some trouble together. I guess not. Are you Florida Georgia Line? Because all I want to do is cruise with you. Definitely not. Are you a guitar player? Because you just plucked my heartstrings. No, I'm not a guitar player. Are you Florida Georgia Line? Because I want to cruise with you. You bet. Come on, let's go for a ride. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure if my pickup lines rock Music City, but they may work for you. This has been Aislinn Baker reporting for The Scratch. Now back to your anchors. Aislinn really has his pickup lines down to a T. She really does. Maybe we can head down to the Honky Tonks and get some upcoming artists. I'm all about it. You know, go big or go home. Shoot for the stars, especially the big ones. You can find a lot down in Music Row. Yeah, well, there's more about those stars on pop culture. Leslie, are you ready for it? I'm going to have to be McKenna because look what you made me do. And it was in this very spot where Taylor Swift started her musical career. She revisited it recently to pay off the dues of other young aspiring songwriters just like she was at age 16. Are you a fan of The Voice or American Idol? Because Blake Shelton just rounded out his team for The Voice, but Luke Bryan is a judge on the reboot of American Idol. Also, fans are buzzing about Luke Bryan's music video to Most People Are Good, so make sure you check it out. No surprise here that Thomas Rhett's single Marry Me has been number one on the charts for the past two weeks and the most listened to song in country music. Tonight, performing at the Grand Ole Opry is Tracy Lawrence, Riders in the Sky, Sylvia and Amber Digby, and tomorrow night is Lee Bryce and Austin Turner. That's all the pop culture news we have for you today. Once again, this is Leslie Vinson reporting for The Scratch. Country music really seems to be rocking the stage with all the southern exposure they've been getting. I love anything to do with southern culture, especially the food. Oh, I hear you. I've been looking at places to eat this entire time I've been here. Places like Hattie B's and Demos have been the place to go. But have you tried Puckets? I haven't, but I'm looking for a new place to go. Got any for us, Raylan? If you're looking for a good meal, I found the place for you. In the heart of this rockin' town is Puckett's Grocery and Restaurant. It is located off the Honky Tonk Highway where many country artists got their start. Although this isn't the first location, owner Andy Marshall saw the potential for in love for music in Nashville, so he decided to place his biggest stage here. I hope the food tastes as good as it smells. As soon as you walk in, you already feel right at home. The restaurant is a nice break from the fast pace of the city. They're open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and there's an option for everyone. Although pulled pork and eggs is a weird combination, I would definitely get it again. The pulled pork was so tender, and the barbecue sauce was one of a kind. Besides the barbecue and the breakfast, they are a great representation of Nashville with their southern hospitality and their live music. Whenever you're in Nashville, make sure to stop by Puckett's. I know I'll be back later tonight to watch Joanne Stowe perform some of their original songs. This has been Raylan Terrell reporting for The Scratch. Man, we for sure need to go meet Raylan there later on today to get a taste of their food as well as their culture. Not only does this town have culture, but they also have a lot of history. You're so right. Do you know who Manuel is? What who is? Manuel, he's the guy that does all the costume designs and gives everyone the persona. The one who gave Johnny Cash the name The Man in Black. Oh, I know who you're talking about. He also gave Elvis his iconic gold suit. Exactly. Did you know he has done 89 different costume designs for movies and 13 TV shows? Man, he seems to be the go-to guy to keep these artists rocking. He is, and it's not always been the easiest to keep these artists going. As you know, things like natural disasters that Caitlin's going to share with us here in a second that has kind of put a damper on the town and kind of been hard for them to keep going. What if I told you if as recently as 2010, everything you see behind me could have just disappeared? Like that. 
you see Nashville experienced what is referred to as a thousand year flood. Waters rose above my head and granted I'm only five feet tall, but still that's a lot of water. And that water was destroying buildings. And with those buildings, the history and culture behind them. Now, as the government does, it wanted to come in and just take over these streets and take all of the history, all of the culture and tear down these buildings. But the people here in Nashville were not willing to let that happen. Now, the city of Nashville said it was going to take at least three years to raise enough money to repair the buildings and then another three to actually repair them. But they were wrong. It took only six weeks to raise enough money. Now, this wasn't because of the government helping or big organizations coming in. No, it was because of the grassroots efforts here in Nashville because the people weren't willing to give up what they had. Nashville believed in itself. And it was because of that belief that in 2018, you would never know that anything happened. So for years to come, there will be thousands of hopefuls that come down to Music Row, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, to keep Nashville rocking for years to come. Wow, there's a lot that went on in this town that I didn't know about. And I wish we could sit here and talk about it, because we could talk about it for days. But unfortunately, that's all the time that we have. Once again, I'm Tyler Carr. And I'm McKenna Kemp. Keep it rocking, STN. And thanks for joining us on The, the Scratch. Scratch.